Hello. Hello. How are How you? How are you? Oh, lovely to see you. Lovely to see you too. Isn't it great to be here again? Hello. Hello. How are you? I was just thinking, it's been ages since we've been here. I know. I'm really looking forward to this afternoon. Oh, isn't it busy? Yeah, they always get a good crowd here. I must say, I saw you in your last show. Oh, I loved it. You were marvellous. So well done. Hi, I'm collecting tickets for the Playhouse. Yeah, that's right. Four tickets. Thank you. Shall we go through to the bar? Oh, a sparkling water for me, please. So he says, you know, <laughs> getting old when the candles cost more than the cake. <laughs> Hello, Nigel. I'm a pint of Stouffit Press. And a glass of rosé, please. Well, if Francis is buying, I'll have a posh red, please. Oh, I love that bit where she slapped him. And the falling over the back of the sofa. I bet that took a lot of rehearsing. Would you like a programme for this performance? Oh, yes, please. How much? That'll be a pound. Good afternoon, everyone. And welcome to the Questers Theatre. This afternoon's performance will start in five minutes. So can we ask you to please take your seats? Thank you. Hello. Hello, how are you? Take a moment to check that your mobile phones are completely turned off and not just placed into silent mode. Excuse me? Please also note that recording of this performance, either through video or photography, is not allowed. Thank you. (coughs) To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against a sea of troubles. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. I shall always be a flower girl to Professor Higgins, because he always treats me as a flower girl, and always will. But I know I can be a lady to you, because you always treat me as a lady, and always will. Don't put your daughter on the stage, Mrs. Worthington. Don't put your daughter on the stage. The profession is overcrowded and the struggle's pretty tough. And admitting the fact she's burning to act isn't quite enough. To be born, or at any rate, bred in a handbag, whether it had handles or not, seems to me to display a contempt for the ordinary decencies of family life. (laughs) I am Charlie's aunt. (laughs) From Brazil. Where the nuts come from? Oh, Buttons, I do love how you take care of me. Who are the Sims? Look out! They are you!